What's going on you guys? This is Andrew Roboto here, 2021 here, and welcome to Five Nights of Powerpuff Girls Remastered. Where this is a game that's actually not made by um, Starlight Scrubs the Scrub Lord. It was made by um, both Babis Coot and Evie Wo and Evie Lover. Which I apologize if I pronounced your names wrong, but that's who made the game. So, and this is the remastered version of the first game. It's the first game remastered, so yeah. Just thought I'd play it, because why not? Because the first game was actually the easiest in the series. Second and third game were ridiculously hard. In fact, I didn't even get far in the second game. The third game I surprisingly got pretty far in. Up until the Nightmare Challenge. In fact, I couldn't even beat the last two custom I challenges. But yeah, anyways... Without further ado, we'll start a new game and let's see what's the offer for us. Oh, we got a cutscene. What are you doing awake up here? You do know it's way past your bedtime, right? Okay, so the cutscenes are the same. And so is pretty much the gameplay. It's just remastered. The graphics are definitely updated. Nightmare. Because we're playing as Blossom for the Night One mini game. You should really be in bed right now, this time of night. Very dementing music. And it jumps into night one. Okay. I thought Mojo Jojo was going to be running at me and like stabbing me to death. But and apparently not in this game. Oh, I get a phone call? Oh, nice office. Here lies Squidward's hopes and dreams. Reference to one man's trash from Spongebob. Okay, I just grabbed something. Okay, why is Sonic's dead body under the under the desk? That's disturbing. Duh, of course. Okay, the phone call is the same and the office is similar. Can I honk this poster? Same thing as the other games. There's a mushroom under the desk. The music is... There's music in this game. Huh. Interesting. Definitely death. Trust me. Yeah, of course I've done this before. Because I played the first game, so I know what that's like. Okay, I don't get why Sonic's dead body is under the desk. That's disturbing. I mean, was Sonic the previous night guard here before me and then got killed by the Powerpuff Girls? Like, why would you put Sonic's dead body in under the table? Oh, and there's a bunch of drawings, which some of them are creepy, I'm not going to lie. Okay, yeah. Those are just dirty jokes up there in like half the drawings. Which I'm not going to even say them. This music is very... The music in this game is very dementing. Okay, what else is in the office? There's cracks in the wall. There's a light... A light bulb. Um, what else is there? Like I said, that's the Here Lies Squidward's Hopes and Dreams. It's it's a reference to the Spongebob episode of One Man's Trash, which is in the 
in the scene where Mr. Krabs goes to the graveyard to um, retrieve the uh, soda drinking half from... Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, wait, I just remembered. Um, Mr. Krabs goes to the graveyard in that scene, and he is looking for Smitty Warbin Jaggerman Jensen's grave because, um, as Spongebob says, he was number one, and... Um, he has the soda drinking hat, and Mr. Krabs wants to sell it for money, and so he wants to retrieve it from him. Okay, so nobody's came to the doors yet, surprisingly. Okay, Bubbles is coming. I don't know why I'm checking the cameras, but I guess I could. Bubbles is nearby, so... Uh, let's see. Oh, wait, she left. Okay, I thought she was going to be at the doors. I have not had to deal with anybody at the doors yet. I've only been checking the cameras. The mechanics are the same, though. Like, you gotta close the door. Close the doors for Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup. Or I think... And then for... I believe we're dealing with Bunny. I'm not sure, but I think we're gonna deal with her. Because Bunny, I believe, has the same mechanic in this game, where she is, um... Foxy, and you have to close the door when she leaves the, the cove. Let me see. Are we going to deal with her at one point in the game? Yeah, this is her cove, so... I imagine the mechanic's going to be the same. Um, let's take a look. Got some pretty fast knights in this game, just like the first game. Uh, let's see... Okay, Bubbles is here. Let me see, what does it read? On my way, bruh. <laughs> okay, that's what Bubbles' bib says. On my way, bruh. <laughs> bruh. Oh my god, that is, that is just funny. Okay, there's Buttercup. Ugh, Buttercup's, Buttercup's got the evil red eyes. Like she's, oh, here's Bubbles, close right door. Okay, so their eyes glow red to indicate they're evil and they're ready to kill me. Alright, so we beat night one, that was easy. So on to night two. So what do we got? Okay, so here's the night two cutscene, we're playing as Bubbles. Same gameplay, obviously. Dementing music, as usual. Hello, anyone? The past few days have been very strange. Ah! Okay, so this time Mojo Jojo kills him. Okay. And now we jump into night two. Okay. So without further ado, we'll take on night two and let's see what has to for us. Okay, so what do we got next? Okay, so we're back in the office for night two. Okay. And I'm apparently collecting things. There's blue papers there that I've been collecting. I don't know what they're for, but I guess we'll find out later in the game. Oh, hey. You did your first night. Good job. Yeah, um, the last call was scripted and pre-recorded. And now I can say whatever I want. So yeah, you can tell that they really like to wander and speak crazy. It is crazy, I know. They find they get really angry and out of control. They, prog they program them like that. Reminds me of the time where Bubbles nearly ate an entire person. Yeah, they wow. were traumatized, but Bubbles was put on out of order for the day. At least everything is good in, in the end. Anyway, though, their sole function isn't supposed to be killing. We're trying to fix that, but for now, stay safe. Oh, and one more thing. There is one who can't walk at all, but she can run very fast and cannot slow down. But she goes to a complete stop. We're still working on most of the animatronics. It's Bunny, I know. I just had to deal with Bunny at the door. I just had to deal with her. Okay, so Bunny, same mechanic. If she leaves the cove, she'll run to the left door camera, and you gotta shut the door like I just did. Gosh, she, she caught me totally off guard. 
Okay, so I'm going to check Cam 5 pretty frequently because Bonnie's on Cam 5 and she pretty much works like Foxy. Okay. I thought we were going to get the option to go to the, the home like in the first game, but apparently in this game we're only in the office. Whereas in Final Fantasy Power of Girls 1, you get the option for Knights 2-3. Oh, Bonnie! Okay, so Bonnie goes to the left door, obviously. As I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by Bonnie. Um, in Final Fantasy Power of Girls 1, for Knights 2-3-4... Five and six, you get the option to either do the bedroom or do the home or the uh, pizzeria. Okay, Bobbles came. Uh, Buttercup is about to come. So is Bonnie. I gotta do. Bobbles left. Good. I'm checking for Buttercup. Bobbles left. And here comes Bonnie. She's running. Running like a mad woman. Okay, did Buttercup come or no? Okay, Buttercup is not here. Okay. Bubbles is on her way, though. I haven't had the old Buttercup and Blossom yet so far. And Bonnie is emerging out of the cove. Yep, she's running. Close left door. Check for Bubbles. Yep, Bubbles is at the right. Oh, Buttercup is here. Whoa! Oh! Jesus. I thought you left Bubbles. Oh, and it just brings you back into the night. Nice. Okay, so it brings you back to into the night after you die. It just doesn't give you a game over. That's nice. So at least I don't have to worry about going back to the menu and starting over. Okay, I, I thought Bubbles was... I was checking to see if Bubbles was gone. I didn't think she was going to be, still be there and jump scare me. That's, that's messed up. I thought she left, but she didn't. Okay. It's nice that you get to come back into the night after you die. Sorry, I'm dead. Okay, well, you're not dead, Bonnie. You're running like a mad woman. Okay, there's Bonnie. She's about to run out any minute. Bonnie, close the left door, check for baubles, and then I gotta check for Buttercup next. Okay, Buttercup left. I mean, Buttercup's not there. I'm gonna check for baubles, though. Okay, baubles and Buttercup have not shown up yet. The only one that's shown up was Bonnie. First time I did this, baubles and Buttercup showed up, but they haven't shown up this time around yet. So that's a good thing. Um, let's see, what else do, who else do we have to deal with? Uh, hang on. Nope, funny. There you go. Got rid of her.
Nope, Bonnie. Coming to the left. to close the door on Buttercup. How did she kill me? I was just about to close the door on Buttercup, and yet she just came out and killed me. And why did the music change all of a sudden? Does it always change after you die or something? But like, what's what happened? Okay, Night 2 is throwing surprises at me. I was just about to close the door for Bobbles and Buttercup, and they both jump scare me. Like, and I don't get why the music just changed all of a sudden. This game is full of surprises, I can tell you that. Okay, gotta deal with Bonnie. Okay, Bobbles is coming. I just saw her on the right hall camera. Okay, Bonnie's running. Gotta check for Bobbles. And then Buttercup. There you go. Okay, I thought I saw Buttercup, but I did not. Because Buttercup comes to the left door just like Bonnie. Bobbles comes to the right door. Because they have the same mechanics as Final Fantasy Power Book Girls 1. Okay, Buttercup is coming. I just saw her. Checking for Bobbles. Okay, Bonnie's gonna be running, so I gotta check for her. 
Checking for Buttercup. Did Buttercup show up? Let me see. Nope, she hasn't. Bubbles hasn't came either. I'm checking though. Okay, thank God Buttercup didn't surprise me. Because Buttercup and Bubbles both threw surprises at me for night two. Which resulted in me getting killed twice. Which is kind of unusual. Okay, let me go check the doors. Okay, not there. Okay, Buttercup is coming. I, I just saw her on the camera. Let me see, is Buttercup here? Nope. Bubbles? Nope, not here. She's coming though, and we beat night two. There we go. Okay, so a few surprises were thrown at me, but it wasn't difficult, and we beat it nonetheless. There were just a few surprises thrown at me because of Bubbles and Buttercup unexpectedly killing me at the doors. Okay, now we got a night two cutscene where we're playing as Buttercup. I remember this. I remember this mini game because I played the first game, so it's all familiar. Bossum, Bubbles, girls, where are you? Let me see if I can do bo boss Buttercup's voice. Girls, where are you? Bossum, Bubbles, girls, where are you? I'm sorry if that was a bad impression of Buttercup. I cannot do her raspy. I cannot do Buttercup's raspy voice. I can do Bubbles' voice. Hello? Is there there's something strange going on? Okay, yeah, I'm sorry if that's if the, if that's a bad impression. I and Mojo Jojo just killed me. I'm trying to see if I can do an impression of Blossom. I'm trying to think. Uh Trying to think. Can I am trying to think. Thanks, Professor! Okay, yeah, I'm sorry if those are bad impressions of the Power of the I cannot do a good one. The hardest one to do is Buttercup because of her rasp her raspy voice. But anyways, um there you have it though. It's the end of the video. We will take on nights three and four in the next video. Thank you for watching everybody. Please hit the like button, also comment and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you've given me. Hit the bell to receive all notifications of my coming videos on my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.